All right, earlier this morning, 21 chefs entered the Today Plaza to celebrate being together again in 2021. Well, three of those chefs are joining us now to share their top last minute tips and hacks so we can have our best Thanksgiving ever. First up, chef and owner of Pink Beach, our friend, Mr. Matt Abdu. Matt, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Mr. Roker. All right, so what if you can't get your hand on a turkey? A lot, Some people wait till the last minute. Myself, I wouldn't be that disappointed. What, uh, what would you suggest in its stead? Well, there's tons of options you can do, but I love doing a roasted chicken. If you couldn't get a turkey or there's not that many people coming over this year, want to do something uh -huh. a little bit smaller, go right. find yourself a chicken, roast it in the oven. Everybody loves a good roasted chicken. You can never go wrong with it. Okay, now, so, so say you, you've got the, you got your roasting pan here, but you don't have, what can you do as a hack to keep things, keep it elevated? So if you're cooking at home and you don't have one of these fancy, beautiful roasting pans, but you have some sort of baking dish or baking tray or whatever, um, we just take some aluminum foil and uh -huh. you just want to take it and twist it up and you'll make a little rack that you can put oh, your chicken or your turkey okay. right onto so all the juices will drip down. Uh -huh. And then you have room to put all of your carrots, onions, and celery on the bottom oh, of it. Nice. So that when you're roasting your chicken or your turkey, it's nice and propped up so all those juices can drip down really well. And what about a brine for your, uh, a dry brine or a wet brine? So no matter what you're, you're cooking, turkey, chicken, pork, you want to make a brine for it. It's going to add so much moisture and flavor to it. Super simple ratio. We have, for every quart of water, you have about a quarter cup of sugar and a uh -huh. quarter cup of salt. You just dump all those into the bowl, right. and you whisk them all together until they're nice, until the solution is clear. And then you want to soak your turkey in that brine for an hour per pound to overnight. Mm -hmm. And then add some fun aromatics. Here we have some bay leaf, peppercorn, some thyme. Put all that in there. You add some garlic, shallots, whatever you want. Make it taste really great, and uh -huh. your brine is ready to go. Do you like the dry brine? I love doing a dry brine. For a turkey, though, I like doing the wet brine. I like it to be so totally submersed into that. But the dry brine is great for, like, steaks or, like, pieces of chicken thighs or legs and things like that. Okay. For now, me personally. Now for my favorite part, the stuffing. <laughs> yeah, All right, Marisol, stuffing. what do we have? All right. So what do you guys do if you're out of breadcrumbs? Uh -huh. Supply chain issues, am I right? Sure. Okay. You guys can just use a little bit of soaked bread or box stuffing. And nothing's wrong with a box stuffing. Oh, it's on the grocery store shelves for a little reason. Bit. I'll add in some thyme, some cilantro, a little bit of sazon because I'm Latin and that's how we do. <laughs> then, you know, if you have some gluten-free guests, mm -hmm. you can have them make their stuffing or you could provide oatmeal, rice. Really? Instant potato flakes and chicharron. Okay. Oh. Pork rinds because oh, pork rinds. chicharrones, of course, that's yeah. how we do. Now, I, I got something for you. Okay. If What's the worst thing that can happen with your stuffing? Uh, you run out of it. Or it gets mushy. It gets oh, mushy. you get mushy. It gets like, you know, can I tell you something? My kids liquid. just said that yesterday. They, they think Thanksgiving food is mushy. Oh. Exactly. I'm like, guys. Maybe it's just. No, yeah. I don't cook, don't even. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't like soft stuff. Maybe it's a chef. Exactly. I'm like, I don't cook. Well, so I, got a, I got a solution for y'all. Okay. I call this stuffins. Stuffing. Stuffins. Stuffing muffins. Okay. All right. So basically, what you do is you're going to get a muffin tin, uh -huh. and you're gonna grab your favorite stuffing. It can be boxed, it can be homemade, and you're gonna put That's them. That's a cute idea. Oh. Yes. And you know what it does? Stuffing muffin. It creates crispiness while retaining moisture, but also speeds up that cooking stuffings. process. Yeah. Stuffing. Stuffing. Wow. Wow. That's Impressive. Good. Very easy. We got a stuffing here for all y'all. You know what? I have to say, it's very hard to do new things or for us to see new things on the show. That's new for me. Well, thank you. All right. Out. <laughs> well, now we have son of a Southern chef himself, Lazarus. What are you going to bring us this morning? Okay, so if you're having a wet Thanksgiving, which I plan to do. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. There will be bottles. There will be wine. Yes, there will be something yes. to drink. But then sometimes we have leftover wine. Yeah. So what do you do with that wine? I love to make a next day sangria. Oh, let's do it. Come on, let right. me put my stuff down. Okay, so, <laughs> so you pour your leftover wine in here. Okay. Right? You have some cranberries, you got oranges, you got some fresh mint and rosemary. Put it into your pitcher. Isn't this gorgeous? That's beautiful. No, I and might even take just this the home. presentation of the it. Presentation I feel like your guests will feel like, you know, nice. it's, it's really great it? for like uh -huh. the next day. It's light, refreshing. You can add well, your good. little sparkling water. Yeah. Lovely. Just like that. Easy peasy. And then peasy. pour it right in. Ooh, that's good. We only have one minute left. Oh. All right, let's squeeze this in. Okay, so you got leftover wine, you got oh, leftover so. cranberry sauce. Okay. Why not make a glaze? Oh. Mm, okay, so nah. you can pour that in. Now, we're using pantry ingredients. Okay. We've got some nutmeg, some cinnamon, <laughs> oh, well, thank you. a little bit of there. allspice. Yes. Bring it into a pot, right? Wait, Bring it down to, one, reduce it to a simmer. Okay. All right, save one for me, y'all. Yeah, please. I'll wait. <laughs> 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 and then you can pour it on your leftover meats. Ooh. You can put it on your leftover stuffing or your muffins. This stuffing would be muffins. great for, for the, the sandwiches the next day. Oh, exactly. Oh, yeah. oh my exactly. gosh. Yum. Yes. You guys all gave us new oh things my goodness. Today. This is good. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Cheers. Thanksgiving, Cheers. Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah. Marisol and Lazarus, thank you so much, yes. guys. You can find <laughs> all of these this morning's Thanksgiving recipes, tips, and hacks on today.com slash food.